Hey guys, so this video, I'm going to be reviewing Arrow 108, title Vendetta. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, sky for new, notification sign, let's get right into the review. So, it opened up with Helena sneaking away from Oliver, um, yeah, <laughs> and Buddy noticed, and Helena is going to the triad, um, she has a gun, she's ready to kill the leader and all that, and then Oliver shows up, stops her, and then they run away in the triad fleets, um, because that's what they're being shot at. Um, Oliver tries to convince Helena that what she's doing is injustice, but what he's doing is, because he says he only kills when he has to, which is, like, kind of true, but at the same time, it's really not. <laughs> um, Helena doesn't plan, uh, on stopping killing and stopping what she's doing. She wants to keep on doing what she wants to do. Helena apologized to Oliver about shooting Mora on accident. Oliver wants to teach her how to take down her father's organization without putting innocent people at risk again, but she refuses. Then it goes back to the bunker with Oliver training. Dig jokes that he should join the Olympics or sign up for it. <laughs> um, Oliver tells Dig everything that happened. Oliver's convinced that he can save Helena now. Then we go to Walter with that storyline where he's going to Queen Consolidated to do his job. Mora is concerned that they haven't really spoken since he left for Australia. And when he came back after Mora got shot, they haven't really spoke. Uh, you can tell Walter's still kind of not trusting her, but he's saying she, he does. Um, Thea asks Walter to give her a ride to school. Walter agrees to. Um, Oliver goes to see Helena and Frank, well, mainly Helena, and Oliver shows Helena Sarah Lance's grave um, and told her about all the story about, you know, him and Laurel and Sarah and that whole thing. Um, and he opened up to her and how he hurt people before. He was on that island trying to get Helena to open up to him, which he's afraid to because last one she opened up was to her dead fiancé and, you know, uh, we all know how that went. Um... Oliver, then we go to the bunker, Oliver's training Helena to use a bow and arrow, um, because they know they're vigilantes in that. Oliver's teaching Helena, Helena to use a bow and arrow, but telling her that it takes discipline, patience, and control, which is enough to keep the innocent people not in harm's way. Helena starts throwing objects in the air for fun, Oliver starts showing off. Helena shows Oliver the, or Oliver shows Helena the list and what, you know, that whole thing is. Dig comes in, introduces him to her. Dig compares Oliver to a drug addict. This is after Helena leaves. Who thinks he can do, who thinks he can handle his addiction by making another addict go clean and get away from the drugs. Which, you know, it's a, it was an okay comparison if you understood it. It was a good comparison. If you don't, then you don't. <laughs> it wasn't for you, but... Dig is done with Oliver's crusade till he gets his head on straight because he thinks he's this is just going to drive him off the edge. Time to go see Laura about an expensive restaurant that he wants to take her to, um, but he also doesn't have money. <laughs> um, so Laura mentions he can go to Oliver about getting a job. Felicity goes to see Walter and rambles about Australia and kangaroos where Walter went to. Felicity was looking into Tempest, the place where Mora diverted company fundings to. Felicity found an image, and it's the same image from the list. Um, Walter tells Felicity to stop looking into it, or she's fired because she can get hurt. And Walter's very concerned about all this. Um, Oliver and Helena are going after Helena's father's organization, and Oliver gives Helena a crossbow because she's not that good at using a regular bow and arrow. Um, so Helena gets a suit, they go to the organization, one of the guys, um, got arrested, millions of, well, all the guys got arrested, millions of dollars worth of drugs were confiscated, no one died, and dealing a major blow to Frank's organization. News report said that eyewitnesses caught the vigilante and another one looking to be a woman stops, uh, that, and also, you know, put the drugs in police custody and arrested pretty much the entire organization. On that side, at least. Um, Frank is pissed off at what happened to the organization. He's hearing about it. Um, but happy for Helena that she is happy with Oliver. Because, you know, they're tying the whole thing in. Um, 
Walter sees that image in a book Mora had, and he starts digging through her stuff and sees a picture of him and Mora. Then sees a cabinet with the same image inside it and comes across the list. Um, but there's nothing inside it besides that image. Oliver and Helena run into Tommy and Laurel at the same fancy restaurant that Tommy was going to take Laurel to. Um, but Tommy and Laurel are waiting forever to get their table because Tommy's not rich and Oliver is, so he got the table right away. So Helena offers for Laurel and Tommy to join them. Tommy and Oliver don't want them to, but Laurel says yes, so they do. Laurel brings up Tommy and wanted to work with Oliver. Tommy was upset and he walks off. Um, they brought up the whole relationship between them three and Sarah and what that whole thing happened was. Um, Helena then walks out. Oliver follows. Helena doesn't trust Oliver anymore after learning the whole situation between them three. Um, Helena knows Oliver still loves Laurel and then Helena walks away and Oliver goes the opposite way. Tommy went to apologize to Laurel. Oliver sits in the bunker. He called Dig. Oliver said Dig was right the entire time. Um, that Helena can't be saved anymore and that Oliver needs to stop her. Um, Dig said Oliver wanted to change Helena, but the thing is that Helena did change when her fiancé died. It broke her. Oliver didn't want to see it because um, he was blind by it. Oliver is convinced now that he, can, he can't stop Helena from going over the edge, but she's already over it. Um, Helena goes out to the triad, kills all the men besides one to get a message to the woman, China White, that we've seen several times throughout the season so far. To get a message saying Frank set all this up. Felicity goes see Walter. She thinks she is going to be fired. But Walter wants her to look into the book. He is worried that she could die from this if she keeps she gets too deep. But Felicity agrees to help look into it all because she has a mystery. <laughs> which who doesn't? Um, Alva arrives on the scene and calls Diggs saying that there's going to be a war. Frank is gearing up his army. The triad is going after Frank. They are killing everyone who gets in their way. Oliver shows up at a vigilante in Frank's house and saves Frank, tells him to run, so he does. Frank is uh, out of the house, starts running away, and then gets shot by an arrow by Helena. And Helena's about to kill Frank. Oliver shows up, stops her, they start fighting. Frank gets Helena's crossbow, shoots Helena, and then... Uh, knocks out Frank and then picks up Helen. Then they leave before the when the cops just got there and so they left. Um, the PD, the police department, has Frank in prison. The laptop he had is enough to put him away, pretty much forever. And Helen has said she's more interested in revenge. She threatens Oliver with a secret if he keeps going after her. Dig goes to Big Belly Burger to see Oliver and mentions that Oliver's growing, but. And now he did open up, which is an improvement. However, he does have blind spots that he should probably work on. Uh, Felicity comes back to Walter with the book, turns the lights off and brings in UV glasses, which can read the writing on the book, which reveals the entire list. Um, Tommy goes to see Oliver. Tommy tells Oliver his dad froze him out of everything. Oliver said his trust fund is Tommy's too, but Tommy doesn't want that. He wants a job and wants to work with Oliver to be someone new, something better. Um, and then it goes to Oliver telling Tommy about Helena and they broke up and all that. And we can see Helena leaving Star City. So that was the entire episode. It was a pretty good episode. Um, you know, I really did enjoy it. Um, I am recording this during the week I'm supposed to not be doing any videos. <laughs> um, just in case I don't have time to record uh, Sunday, Monday night. So this is pre-recorded. Um, but I want to do it again just to, just to keep the schedule going. With the air reviews. Um, we'll be at 110 definitely by the end of the month. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Thursday uploads anymore. Um, with Arrow at least. I'll be doing... I'll be uploading on Thursdays. This is, I don't know if I'm going to be doing air reviews on Thursdays. Um... At least up to Stargirl. When Stargirl comes out with season three, I won't. I one hundred percent will not be doing air reviews on Thursdays. Um, but the twenty second and the 29th will one hundred percent be air reviews. I'll be at one ten by August 29th, which is a Monday, the last Monday of August, and then we're going to be going into September, and we have October coming up, um, too. But again, 
August 31st is when Star Wars comes out. So, these next... This week that you guys are seeing this and the week after would really be the only two weeks where I could, where I could do air reviews on Thursdays. And then that's it. I, I can't do Thursday reviews on Thursdays when Stargirl comes out because I'll be doing promo breakdowns for the next Stargirl episode on Thursday nights if they're doing my review on Wednesday nights. So if I want to do air reviews on Thursdays and you guys enjoy watching them on Thursdays, the 19th and the 26th will probably be the only two times I do that. And then that'll be it. I won't be doing it anymore because there'll be Stargirl videos. But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.